Rome, the Colosseum, and the gladiators. Right? Right. Today we'll talk about the gladiators, the leading actors of the stadium. First of all, don't think they organized only gladiatorical combats at the Colosseum. Roman calendar was full of ludus days, days dedicated to festivals, games, and shows. On these ludus days, emperors and senators would organize theater events, parades, chariot races, animal shows, and gladiator matches. As the poet Juvenal have said, bread and circuses. Guarantee food and entertainment to keep people happy. Even here in the Colosseum, varieties of shows were represented, but the two most popular ones were Venationis, the beast hunting, and the Munera, gladiator matches. Usually on a game day, they'd organize Venationis in the morning and after lunch, gladiator matches. For Venationis, they brought all sorts of animals here to display, to hunt, and even to kill. These animals were lions, tigers, bears, ostriches, boars, deer, goats, leopards, crocodiles, camels, elephants, hippopotamus, rhinosaurus, and the list goes on. Most of the gladiators were slaves, including ex-enemy soldiers and prisoners condemned to death. However, there were many professional fighters as well. Ambitious boys with humble origins would choose to be trained to become a strong gladiator, hoping to be popular and rich. Some of them succeeded, others no. The popular fighters even had fan clubs, and they were treated as celebrities. But didn't they die all the time? Well, occasionally yes, but many of the times no. There were different rules, some games ended up with deaths, others no. This depended on the organizer, the sponsor, the editor. There were rules for the combats and they even had referees. Before the matches, all the armor were checked to avoid any kind of cheating. Each gladiator belonged to a specific type with specific armor, therefore fight styles. Here are some popular ones. Murmillo, a short greave on a leg. Tall shield. Arm guard. Brimmed helmet. And the gladius, a short sword. Hoplomagus. With the brimmed helmet. Small round shield both gladius and a spear. He had both legs wrapped with a pair of long greaves and an arm guard. Retiarius, the net fighter. No helmets, so they were usually the good-looking ones. Trident, the net. A large arm guard extending to the shoulder with the shoulder shield. So this would be a fight between a murmillo and Retiarius. Secutor, the pursuer. Huge rectangular shield. Round and smooth helmet with a very limited vision. These fights are between a Retiarius and a Sector. Trax, broad rimmed helmet with a griffin and feathers. Small shield, pair of long greaves, carved sword. This oil lamp has Murmillo against Trax. As you can see, most of the matches were between different types of gladiators, kind of like Spider-Man against Iron Man and Superman against Hulk. Well, in today's terms, that is. Imagine, after the games, fans satisfied and heading home with these lamps as souvenir. And we will meet again in the next Secrets of the Colosseum.